Hello guys, Agnologia here and today I just want to bring you this quick video of the 6 types of Pokemon Namers. So uh, let's just get right to it. Um, the first we have is the Defaulter and their basis for being a Defaulter could be, let's take Blitzel for an example. Uh, Blitzel is a perfectly respectable name. So why should it be your job to name their army of made up monsters? You're too busy on your quest to catch them all. Besides, you want to be able to talk shop with your poker bros without wasting time trying to figure out which particular pocket monster everyone is talking about. Then again, maybe you're just lazy. The second one we have is the pro, and their basis is... I'll show Game Freak how real puns are made. In fact, you could say my skills are pun believable. Ha ha ha. Examples of creation of their names could be uh, Sabidash, Piglet, Grassassin. You are a master of the written word. Even if you haven't had the time to sit down and write that novel yet, in the meantime, you prove your linguistic prowess with well-crafted Pokemon names. So, what if you spent more time coming up with the perfect nickname than actually playing the actual game? It's totally worth it for that slight struggle your friends emit when they first set eyes upon your Pikachu Mian Monko. At number 3 we have the first thing. Basis for this could be... Uh, Basically, you do not know what to name your Pokemon, so you just come up with random names like Friday or you know you can be wide. Actually, I want to name you uh, Brother. You know these things have nothing in common. You want to do your Pokemon the courtesy of a nickname, but you don't like to beat around the tall grass either. No sooner does the Pokeball click than you're at the name entry screen. Sure, your nicknames might have less to do with Pokemon than they do with random items on your coffee table, but being clever is also hot. And you'd rather have a Katani named Stapler than leave it as the default. Wait a second, why why is that exactly? Number 4. The Legitimate Namer. Pokemon are my friends. My friends deserve real people names. And that could be like Colleen, Steve, Michelle. You would never grab a beer with some freak named Solrock. But Chuck, there is a cool bro you could trust all the way to the Elite Four. At the very least, you can trick people into thinking you have real friends when you tell them you can't go out because you're chilling with Mag, the level 5 Pig Knight, and Charlie, the level 27 Solaces. Number 5 The Themer. Pokemon is cool. But not as cool as Dragon Ball and Mobile Suit Gundam Seed Destiny. And they would typically name their characters basically anime characters. Goku, Spike Spiegelhauer, Lekato, Light Yagami, you know from Miraniki, there's all sorts of stuff. So if you're like me, you're more than a simple Pokemaster. Your nerdery extends into dozens of other geek franchises and you're damn proud of that. What better way to show off to your other nerd friends than by naming your bug type Pokemon after Shino, the bug guy in Naruto. Bet your friends didn't know that character. They've probably never even watched the original Japanese fan subs. What a bunch of losers. Number 6 is the Sickle. If I didn't win, at least I made you throw off a little. Allow me to give you three brilliant examples of what they would name their Pokemons. Wet Dream, No Stildo, and Vagmonster. Uh, honestly, you're kind of a dick. Your favorite pastime is trolling everyone else's innocent enjoyment of a beloved family franchise with the foulest names you can come up with. You giggle every time you send your ejaculator into battle, or whenever your mom's tits uses milk drink. Sure, you're hilarious, but remember, it's all fun and games until your little brother tells your mom you made him fight Nutsucker. <laughs> 